guys and welcome. As promised, we are talking covering those bags and baking, baking, baking. I have promised you guys that I was going to talk about my all favorite Cody Airspun. I'm just going to focus in on this so you guys can take a look at this. The color I have here is naturally um, neutral, I think, but you can use any color. There's three colors. And these are about, what are they? About $7.99 at Walgreens. So let's wait till we get in, back into focus. Woo, how's everybody doing today? It's another hot day here in San Francisco, so I'm just taking it all in. Okay, but as promised, we are gonna get right into this. So let me tie up my hair. The first thing I have done is um, went ahead and done some pretty intense concealer coverage over my bags. I used um, the Fergie Come Correct. Oh man, this is not focusing. No, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, so come I on, used the Fergie favorite. Come Correct, which is my favorite. I'll put a link here to that um, concealer because it is also my favorite. And I also have the Fit Me by Maybelline fit me in fair um, for concealing the eyes okay so these are two of my drugstore favorites this one's a little bit more expensive than the wet and wild and the Fergie wet and wild come correct I don't even know if they it's still like actually you can if it's still out there I think it might be discontinued so but you might be able to still find it okay anyway we're talking airspun so get your airspun powder now when I was a teenager back in the 80s I loved this because back then I was obsessed with old Hollywood fashion old Hollywood makeup. Um, I didn't have any money. I don't know who probably bought this for me. My teacher actually used to give me makeup, um, Mrs. Moline. Um, and that actually allowed me to do all my crazy makeup when I was like 15 and 16. But I don't know, I probably saved up my bucks to buy this. And I knew that they would use it in Hollywood in like the 50s. So I was always obsessed with it. And I have loved this for all those years. So in my 40s now, still rocking this out. So what are we talking? We're talking baking. So when you open it, you will see it is a loose powder. And what I like to do is take a makeup sponge like this, and then I like to take my little cap and I like to dab it in, okay? Yeah, so I get a little bit in there, or a lot actually. So what have I done? I've done full foundation on my face already. I've done my concealer. I've done my eyebrows. I've done a little baby wing. I have not done my mascara. I haven't done any lipstick or any blush, and we'll do that a little bit later if we have time. Um, and I haven't done any highlighting. I'm gonna take that. I'm just gonna simply grab a lot. I'm gonna need more, because I like a lot. Grab a lot and pat that right under the eye. Okay, now it's supposed to look like that. It's supposed to look really thick and heavy. I'm gonna get some more, because we're baking. We're doing the baking technique, which is apparently a very old technique. They've, they did this for years and years and years, and it just came back in. So my whole thing about this video is people are like freaking out. They're like, if we're over 40, there's no way we can bake because it's gonna settle into those fine lines and it's gonna look hideous. We already have lines, right? Okay, first of all, let me tell you that I'm in love with my lines. Sometimes I just, smile a lot and I stare at all the lines and I actually love them. I know that's crazy, but I just kind of discovered that like last week I was at work and I saw myself smiling and I had some, I have really deep lines and I was like, Hey, those are cool. I mean like I'm 48. I totally deserve these lines. I've been working for them and they're beautiful. Something really beautiful about getting old, something to think about. Anyway. Um, but yeah, um, I agreed and I thought about it but I tried the technique and it doesn't crepe at all. This will not crepe. It will not actually go into your fine lines. It actually creped more when I didn't set it with Airspun. Um, I don't know why, but my foundation, I would actually get little lines in it and you could see the lines in the foundation and concealer. So this actually sets it, holds it all day and I don't have to worry about it because I used to have to touch up all the time. So maybe later in, after about eight hours, I'm gonna have to touch up a little bit more. I'm gonna go ahead and do a little here to just kind of bring, make that more of a contour. See where that um, bronzer was? And I'll do it on the other side here. I also like to go right over my lip, on my chin. And for me personally, um, on my brows, I get a little crazy, so I like to set my brows. I am actually using the NYX Brow Gel today. 
And if you guys want to hear about that, how I do my brows, I usually use a pencil, like an eyeliner pencil from Wet n Wild to do them, but I've been using this brow gel to get a more of a natural look. Go ahead and put a link below. Right now I look kind of crazy, right? I got all this going on and you guys are like, what girl, are you insane? How are you going to do that in your 40s? Well, let me show you. So what I like to do, this is where the good, this is the good part. I like to just chill now, right? What can I do? Um, I will do, let's do some mascara. So I'm just gonna hang out and do my mascara. And when I come back, my mascara will be done. So just imagine that. Oh, I might maybe just speed this up. Hold on. Here you guys go. Definicils, and I'm using that as my mascara. So let's go ahead and start that and start mascaring. Maybe I will speed this up so you guys don't have to go through the torture of it. This is a beautiful mascara. Um, if any of you guys have used the Lancome, it is a lengthening, lengthening and it is gorgeous and is, it is expensive. Okay. Now you guys also might be noticing that that powder on my face is kind of setting into my face and the concealer and the foundation and kind of setting into um, the skin so you're not seeing it as brightly under the eyes as when I first put it under my eyes. It's still very visible but not as much okay so as much as i love this mascara it is very mascara light i like my mascara hecka thick that's just my preference and i know a lot of you ladies over 40 are going to be like we just like this one so this is um an amazing mascara if you can go and uh, pick one up any of the Lancome mascaras and if you can afford them go for it if you can't you know you can always find my inexpensive makeup looks through wet and wild and my drugstore mascara okay I'm gonna go ahead and do my lower lid here my lower lashes you must you must oops let me fix that a little bit you must do your lower lashes ladies you gotta you gotta do them and I'm continuing on my sweat fest as I sweat as I do this I'm like so hot because what it is is I blow dry my hair right before I do my makeup and I like my blow dryer really hot and as you know I'm already dealing with um, the temperature and the hot flash is happening right so I think I just messed up my lower lashes here I might have to fix that up but if you guys want to see um, anything else of like how I do my makeup, please like put a comment below because I'm happy to show you. I'm happy to show you what I do. All right, a little bit more. I think I'm running out of this mascara. No! This is actually gifted to me for my birthday. And thank you, Sarah. You're the best. You're the best girl. Give me some fancy mascaras. Okay, so that whole time I was just chilling and letting my makeup set. Okay, so I might speed that up, so I'm gonna close this off and we will be right back. Yes, we will. Okay, I've done my mascara. I messed it up a little bit on this eye and I have to let it dry and I'm gonna use that little trick too that I showed you in a video before of how I get the mascara off when it falls down and below my eye. But anyway, getting back to this baking technique. Let's go back to this baking technique. I'm just gonna use a regular Wet n Wild um, flat ended brush here. I think this was, what was this one called? I don't know, it came in a Wet n Wild set and I'm just gonna use this to wipe off the excess powder because now I'm done letting it bake and set. So I'm just gonna Go right under the eye like that. There we go. And remember that I put it up on my, in the middle of my forehead and over my brows. So there we go. Now I am feeling very confident that my under eye bags are going to be concealed all day because I have gone ahead and set them with my amazing, fabulous, air spun. Okay, so that was the main part of the video. Um, I do want to quickly do a little bit more of my makeup. If you guys want to check out now, you don't have to watch the end, but I'm going to go ahead and put some blush and some lipstick on. So if you want to see that and how I do that, stick with me. I am using the Wet n Wild Illuminating Palette today for my blush. I love this because it's got a bunch of different colors in it and highlighters in it. And this is about $4.99 at Walgreens. So I'm going to go ahead and take a, a tapered blush brush. I'm going to swirl it actually just in the pink and the highlight color here, the bronzy color. 
and go ahead and dab a little on my cheeks for a blush just at the cheekbone and beyond Okay. Woo! Like that. Like that. Then I'm just going to use my finger for the really, um, the gold highlighter right here. And I'm going to pat gold highlight above my cheeks. If you guys want to see my video on how to get the glow, I'll put a link right there. That is how to get the glow highlight challenge where I went totally extreme on the highlighting so you guys could see how I get the do. Then I'm going to go ahead, oops, excuse me when I jump up a little bit here um, and refocus. I'm gonna get right above, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna focus in for you guys so you can really see what's going on here. Hold on a second. Okay, there we go. I'm gonna take this super light color, just put my finger in it and just go right up underneath the brow. I really like using my hands, my fingers as tools. You guys don't need all the fancy equipment, although it can be nice. And then I'm gonna go right on my nose, the tippy tip tip, right on the bridge, just a dabble do ya. And again, right over that Cupid's bow. There we go, there we go, we are getting somewhere done with that and today I'm going to be using the Milani Amore matte and ugh, let me see if I can go in and show you this this is the Milani Amore matte oh my god liquid lipstick and I am completely completely obsessed with it obsessed obsessed and this color is a door I believe it's not focusing uh, sorry guys um, this is in Adore. Okay, so let's go ahead and get that lipstick on. I'm doing a very neutral face today. Nothing is extreme. This liquid lipstick I love, I die for. It was discontinued, this color. And I was like savoring every like last drop that I had and then it came out with a uh, a relaunch and I saw it at Walgreens and I was like oh my god and I picked up two more colors now this color is going to stay all day well now it's gonna stay for about three hours yes it is <laughs> and I love that okay I'm also going to be using my Milani um, Bella Chiffon eyeshadow uh, you get these at Walgreens I'm gonna use them for my inner corner but they really are very similar to Albatross um, NARS Albatross highlighter I'm gonna use a little makeup brush just to do the inner corners of my eyes to brighten me up because we're in our 40s we got to brighten ourselves up a little in here and a little in here Just a little dabble, do ya? All right. Okay, guys. So, this is the final look. And I have to say, oh, come on, guys. I have to say that I bake every single day. Um, it will really keep that highlighter that concealer and those bags at bay okay so i love 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 it and it doesn't set and doesn't get into the creases and the wrinkles and the lines in your face and i know that's what you guys were all worried about this is a really finely milled powder it's been around forever all makeup artists have used it forever and you guys should pick it up too you can find it online it's cody airspun and like i said there's three different colors i've Played around with all of them the one that i'm actually using right now is called naturally neutral and i love it but i've also used a translucent i love that one too so you know whatever you fancy go ahead and pick it up thank you guys so much for checking out this look put a comment below if you've used cody airspun and if you have any questions about it actually going into the creases or into your wrinkles and lines and also let's talk about wrinkles look look at all those <laughs> They're mine, yay, I have them, I love them. So yeah, you guys, hope you love this. I promise you this video, so glad to get it to you guys. Thank you so much for joining me. Oh, I have one other thing to say. If you like these nails 
and you want to know how I did them and you want an actual tutorial on them, I am like dying to do one. So put a comment below. I will go step by step of where I bought them, how I, the nail polish that I used, the glue that I used, how to take them off, the whole shebang. It's a little bit different than my gel fantasy nails. I'll put a link to that if you want to check this out. This is actually way more um, easy to do and I love these. These nails are amazing. All for $1.99. All right guys, have a great day. I will see you later. Um, here's some workout videos because you know we want to get you doing some workouts. See ya. Bye. Bye guys. Oh shoot. Hot. It's getting hot, 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 hot. Oh, look at this, working out. Been working out hard, ladies. Been working out hard. Join me.